Jenna Bollard. I'm the Expressive Arts Therapies Manager here at UCLA Mattel Children's Hospital. We are really excited to share with you all that we are conducting a new study on the NICU with music therapy. We're using this device that was developed by Jane Stanley, a NICU music therapist. The pacifier activated lullaby is an FDA approved device that has shown in previous studies to increase non nutritive sucking amongst neonates. Thanks to the Music Man Foundation, we were granted the opportunity to hire two part-time music therapy fellows and research assistants, Sandra Chia and Christina Cassell, and they are helping us to gather this information to see how the pacifier activated lullaby will work in our NICU here, both in Westwood and in Santa Monica. We personalize a song with the caregivers, the parents of the premature infant, and we're recording their voices as the research has shown in previous studies that their voices are the most effective. So we use the infant's pacifier and we put mom and dad's voice and their personalized lullaby loaded onto this device. And when the infant sucks, really soft under 60 dB, scale C, it plays the lullaby. Music entrains and encourages the infant to suck more in order to get lullaby each time as a reward. I believe that adding the music therapy services has been really beneficial and very therapeutic for our patients. We have several critically and chronically ill babies, many who are with us for a very long time, and music therapy is very, very beneficial for them and supporting their development and care needs, their growth and their optimal development in a very intense, very stressful environment that the NICU often is. The PAL device looks very promising and it's, it's been very exciting just to observe a friend. It's really going to help us more with introducing oral feeds, um, especially to our preemies and just having one more supportive device to help ease that transition and make it successful. And it's also very rewarding for our parents to be able to see. The lullaby writing process typically is very empowering for parents and then they're able to use their own voices and their own song that they help to create to help encourage this increase in non-nutritive sucking. It was really sweet to know that we had um, you know put together some words to you know fit such a classical lullaby and you know that that was going to play for our baby when we weren't here um, that she could hear our voices when we weren't available. I think music is very therapeutic and I think that um, it's actually helped the baby. Music is such a big part of our lives that it's definitely worth starting not only in utero, but obviously afterwards. I felt like it gave me like a good sense of how the baby was developing, especially with her suck reflex. Every time like that count went higher, it was like a little, you know, like a little, star on her little chart of how well she was doing.